Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Conker's Bad Fur Day. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and in the last episode, we were doing some boring key hunting, and we got one of those, uh, very, um, not hard to find, but, uh, I don't know, tedious keys into the slot, and we have two more to do in this episode. And that's pretty much all we're gonna do in this episode, so don't be surprised if this is a, a shorter episode. Um,. Because I wouldn't doubt it, because I... Um... Because I don't think it's going to take me too long. Um, I know where both the keys are, and they're not very hard. Um, or at least I don't think they're very hard to get, so... We'll see what happens. Uh, I just have to concentrate and, you know, not lose focus. Uh, get back, zombie scum! How many times do I have to say that? Oh, these zombies, they just don't get it. You can tell them over and over again, and they just keep on trying to eat your brain. So, as you can see, or, well, if it would load, because the key is actually... Oh, there it is, over there. The key is actually over there, um, and there's tons of zombies uh, guarding it, and we want to take out some of those zombies, so they don't give us too much of a problem later on. And they're easy to kill, and... Uh, shouldn't have too much of a problem. Oh, man. Can I get you from all the way back here? I really want to. There we go. Booyaka shot. Headshot. So, um, yeah. So, it just kind of... In this little garden thing, um, pretty creepy. You know, you have this giant uh, bat pillar thing. I would assume there would be, like, a statue on top of that, but... I guess, uh, Conker's great ancestor is too cheap for an, uh, a statue. I mean, even if it was a statue of himself. You know what he should have done? He should have just asked Robotnik. Robotnik has about a million of, you know, statues, uh, for him, so. You know, I'm sure Eggman wouldn't mind lending him, a, a statue or two of him. I mean, it's free advertising for anybody who wants to come by. Um, you know, so... Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter now, because this place is just going to sit and rot, because unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on if you like them or not, uh, Count Batula is dead, and, uh, never to be thought of again, um, unless, until the next time that you play this, uh, game. So, while we are making this little, uh, mundane trip back to the door, um, I'm, like, I mean, I only killed, like, four zombies, like, I could have sworn there were more, but, uh, I figured I'd talk about, you know, um, some games I've been playing lately, because, uh, I don't know if I've really talked about that in quite some time, and, uh, I figured it was, uh, an appropriate time to talk about some, uh, other games, well, uh, I figure first, you know, because this game was made by Rare, um, I actually, for the first time ever, I started, uh, playing Donkey Kong Country, uh, the original one, and, uh, it's pretty fun, you know? I, like, I've seen, I've actually seen Let's Plays of Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3, um, and they were, you know, they were all pretty entertaining, and they looked pretty cool, they had, you know, a lot of cool, uh, aspects to them, um, but I'd never actually tried them for myself. Um, and I finally got around to it, because I put a, I finally put a Super Nintendo emulator on, uh, my, uh, laptop again, because I haven't had one on in, uh, months, actually. Um, and I figured it was due time to, uh, finally, you know, put one of those, uh, good old emulators on there. A emulators? Emulators. Um, where is this ladder? Uh, it's over there. Okay. Um... But yeah, so I put the Super Nintendo emu emulator on, and uh, I'm going through it pretty quickly. I've only played for maybe like an hour or so, and uh, I'm already at the end of Monkey Mines, I think. I just beat, uh, um, uh, oh man, I can't think of her name, uh, or his name, or whatever her name, um, but I'm like right before uh, Neki, or whatever it's called, so... If that can, you know, give you an approximate of where I am. So, I'm going through it, you know, it's going pretty quickly. Um, 
Although I, I haven't found like any of the secrets or anything, and uh, I don't really plan to just because like when I was watching like uh, I know specifically uh, I watched Slim Kirby's LP of it, um, and he like I'm sure he's played it like multiple multiple times, and he knew like where all the secrets were, and he got like 101 percent on the game, and for me and my purposes like. I'm just not going to do that my first time through because I feel like it's going to be more distracting. Like, I'm going to be, like, searching all over the place for these, you know, secrets um, and not really, like, enjoying the game. So I decided, you know, just screw it. I'll do, you know, even if it's, uh, a, like, a minimum run of the game, that's what I'm going to do. Um, quick, I'm going to stop because I didn't really explain what I was doing. Over there, there's a switch, and that opens that little bookcase. And if you don't open that bookcase, you're going to get screwed um, because as you can see, the key is right over there on that other side, and it's really easy to get to, and you'll just, like, pick it up. But then when you pick it up, you can't put it down, and the only way to put it down is to get, uh, is to fall. And, uh, you can't really fall anywhere in here without, like, falling to your death. At least I don't think you can. Um... So, yeah, definitely pull that uh, lever before you pick this up, otherwise you're going to die, and then you're going to have to go back through and pick up the other two keys and put them in, and then come back and do this. And and that you just don't want that, because that's not fun uh, doing this, like, multiple, multiple times. But, yeah, uh, so I'm pretty much you know, enjoying, uh, Donkey Kong Country. I've also been, uh, like, I beat Super Mario Galaxy for the first time, uh, like, uh, a few months ago, like, maybe two months ago. Alright, hold on, I'll, I'll stay quiet. Finally. Oh yeah, I forgot about those guys. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So, we have to use our good friend, uh, well, he's not really my friend, I don't like the guy, he's a prick to me, but, uh, we have to use Mr. Barrel, and not get eaten by zombies. Oh! Alright, alright. You know what? You wanna be like that? I was going to leave you guys alone, and things were gonna be hunky-dory, but now I have to bust out the shotgun and blow your brains out. And no one wants that, I mean, I was being nice. Uh, but you're just a stupid zombie. I guess you'll never learn. Alright, let's put you away. Oh my god, get away from me. This is turning into more of a process than I wanted it to be. Get away. Oh, come on. Get out of here. There we go, finally. Man! These zombies, they just don't know when to stop. It's okay, that's why we have our shotgun, because it tells them when to stop. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I beat the uh, the original Galaxy uh, not too long ago, and uh, I've been watching, you know, Griffin Monsters LP of it, even though it's going by very slowly. Um, and I also watched uh, NCS's LP of um, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and it kind of just want made me want to play the games again, but I don't own either of them. Um, so I decided that I was going to borrow Galaxy 1 from Caboose again and play through, because I beat it with 60 stars the first time, and, you know, that's, that's, a pr that's like, the minimum run. And, uh, you know, I figured I'd give the game a little bit more love, and I'm gonna see if I can get to, you know, at least, like, 90 stars before, you know, I put it down for good. Uh, if I put it down for good, you know, I might just go for 120. But I kind of want to at least get, like, three quarters of the game completed, because, I mean, I like the game, and I can form an opinion, I think, off of what I've played so far, but, um, yeah, I figured I would just do that. Uh, and speaking of, um, like, opinions of that game, uh, I, you know, I really like that game, but there is one mission that I found, uh, and Caboose always told me that he, he just, like, one of the reasons he didn't like the original Galaxy was because of the camera angle, and I never really understood where he was coming from until I played the third mission of Dusty Dune Galaxy, and it's like an upside-down camera angle, and it's just, like, you know, the controls are just so weird when you're upside-down, and it's awful, um, and I just, I hated it. I hated every second of it. Um, it was just... It was, ugh, it was brutal. I died so many times for, like, no reason. It's a good thing that they gave me a one-up, because otherwise I would have gotten a game over, like, four times. Yo, you want some great stuff? <gasps> yeah. 
And you know, it's like different. It's different from, uh, oh, hello, Mr. Gargoyle. It's been a long time since we've seen your ass. Um, but yeah, it's like a different, it was like a different difficulty from, like, the standard, you know, kind of difficulty. It was just like, it was dumb difficulty. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like trial and error, and it wasn't like, you know, super ghouls and ghosts or like Castlevania hard. It was just, it was just broken hard, like the maze game hard. Like, just unnecessary. Uh, but, anyway, we are now saying goodbye to our good friend Count Batula and his entire spooky section, which, in all honesty, wasn't that long. It wasn't as long as the, uh, Ooga Booga section. Uh, like, the Ooga Booga section, like, I mean, I, I, I feel bad, uh, making that 27-minute video looking back on it, even though I got a comment, you know, uh, like, two comments, I think, actually, saying, uh, that they enjoyed it, but 27 minutes is a lot to ask for anybody to watch from me. Um, but I'm going to try to keep them definitely under 14 or 15 minutes, um, and maybe even closer to 11 minutes, because, I don't know, I just feel like that's, uh, the better thing to do. But, um, I'm actually going to end it here, uh, because the, um, going through this door will bring us into a new section, so, until next episode, I will see you guys all later, so, uh, bye.